Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to cover saving and deleting uh, messages in Microsoft Teams. So first off, uh, this is a bit different. When you first hear saving a message, you might think that this stores it in a separate location, that it backs it up, that it you know uh, gives you a record of something that's permanent. Uh, this is a little different in Microsoft Teams. When you save a message in Teams, what you're actually doing is, is bookmarking it. Uh, and you're not bookmarking the whole conversation, you're bookmarking a single line in that conversation. And it's not actually separating that bookmarked uh, line or, or reply or message uh, in a different spot or, or separating it out from the body of the main message. All it's doing is adding a kind of a quick reference point to a longer chat thread that you can then hop back to uh, for a quick reference later on. So, and that's and that's still very valuable. Um, you know, if you've got a conversation going on where someone mentions uh, project requirements that had changed, you can bookmark it. And then, if you're not sure what what has changed, or you need to re reference that in the future, you can hop over to your bookmarks and you can look at it and get a good idea of uh, of what was said at the time. So, uh, doing that is not obvious, unfortunately. Like a lot of the uh, features in Teams, it's not a front and center button, it's hidden under a menu. So in this case, for example, I'm in my general chat for my fake team here. And if I want to save, let's say I want to save this note from May 13th that says big project deadline soon. If I want to save that, I need to mouse over it. And then you'll see this little emoji menu pop up. And if you click on the three buttons to the right of the emoji menu, you'll see a save this message option. You click on that. And you'll see up here on the right-hand side, it says Saved. Now, if you want to find your bookmarks, those are in a very different place here then as well. You need to click on the icon on the right side, which uh, I haven't changed the photo, but uh, by default, it's going to be this little silhouette, but you can set it to be a picture of yourself or, or for your user account. Um, once you open that up, you'll see Saved here. It's the third option down. Click on that. And that'll open up a different window here where you can see I've got a couple different posts saved. And now this is all in the same chat thread. Um, and you'll see when I click on this, it'll jump down to and highlight the message that I've saved. And so it's still in the same thread. Basically, it's just duplicated the whole thread here. It's linked to the thread in the Teams location, um, but then just highlighted the particular message I wanted to save. And then click up here again, and it'll jump to the top where I saved this other message and highlight that as well. If you want to delete these bookmarks, um, that's very easy to do as well. Uh, you can just go over here and click on unsave and it will delete them now it's not going to delete them from the actual post history so make sure you do it here in the saved area if you go in here and delete something uh, you know you're going to be losing that message from the from the thread uh, but if you want to delete it as a saved thing you know kind of unbookmark it because either it's it's not relevant anymore or you don't need to save it you can do it uh, here in the saved area you can also do this with individual chats so we've got here a chat that I was having with myself. And you can mouse over that as well and see the same menu. And then you can click Save That Message as well. And again, like uh, the Teams, saving a message in Teams chat, it will save the entire thread. And this is the one I had saved before. So it hasn't, caught, it hasn't quite caught up yet. Microsoft Teams sometimes take a minute to sync because all this data is stored uh, in Microsoft servers. So it'll catch up eventually. But at any rate, that's how you save and bookmark items and delete them. Uh, like I said, this is not an actual creating a backup or creating another copy. This is just uh, bookmarking something you want to be able to reference more easily in the future. For Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Be sure to stay tuned for more tips and tricks just like this one.